Hello there! This short video is about how to fetch your greater project assignments to work with them on your local machine and then go back and upload them into my IT lab. So of course you will need to log in with your credentials in my IT lab and open your course. Then make sure that you are in your course materials tabs. Go to your course folder and fetch the assignments for the chapter you are working with. In this case, Word Chapter 1, Introduction to Word. Double click or click open over the gray arrow on the right hand side. And then navigate to Word Chapter 1, Activities. Double click. The last assignment here is the Word Chapter 1, Greater Project Homework. Click open. So double click on your Word Grader project, a pop-up will show up, this one, and it will give you the option of downloading the files. You can read the instructions here as well by scrolling down, however I strongly recommend that you just download both files and open the Word document with the instructions. They are exactly the same ones as here, but it's easier to read and um, you can follow them more precisely. So now I'm going to download the files for the greater project. As you can see a new pop-up window showed up. These are the two files that you need to download. You can download them by clicking these green arrows. So that means that do the download is one by one, or you can download them both at the same time as a zip file and then extract the zip file. I will do the zip file as this is more complicated. However, it will save you a little bit of time. So clicking, you will say save file here. Okay. Then go into your downloads, show in downloads. This is where my files are. And I am just going to take this zip file and cut it and paste it in a place where I would like to have these saved let's say here, paste. You can see that this file has an extension of zip, which means it's zipped, compressed. So I would just need to extract it by clicking extract all. It'll give me the default location in the same folder. I'll click extract and you can see here that along with a zipped file you have a new file here, which has the same name, but no zip extension. It's just a normal folder. If you double click on it, you will see both files that you need to work with for your greater project. So now that this is done, I'm going to clean up a little bit my work area. So I'm going to close this. Close this as I finished with the download. I keep this one open. I don't even need my IT lab. I can close it if I want totally. Just disconnect from the internet because I, now I have everything I need to work with a greater project on the local machine. In this case, I will just minimize. Let's see what else I have here. I'm going to close this window and return to it later to upload the completed file. So I'm still cleaning up my work area. This is my email and I'm sure you're not interested in that. Okay, so now I will double click the first one, which is the file that I will be working with. And then I will double click the instructions as well. So this is my first file. And these are the instructions. I like having them both show up on my screen. So what I'll do, I will grab it by the title bar and go until the mouse rests on the left hand side of the screen and then release it. 
this will take half of my screen so I will have the instructions on the left hand side of my screen so that I can follow them step by step then I grab again by the title bar the document that I will be working with and go all the way to the right until the mouse rests on the right hand side of my screen well that didn't want because I have a double screen guys so sorry for that so I have to do this manually and then all I've got to do is to make it fit nicely on my screen so that I see what I'm doing here it is and this one too now I can start my work okay now let's look at the first two tasks to get you started so the first task you already did you started word you downloaded and opened the files that you needed for your greater homework now let's look at the second task it says ensure that the contextual spelling feature is selected in the word options dialog box so this is one subtask I usually like kind of putting them on different lines each of the subtasks on different lines so that I can follow them and go back and make sure that I did everything correctly so let's do the first first task this is done in the document that you are working with from the file tab which I like calling maintenance tab because all the background maintenance tools are here like print um, save as um, checking for issues looking for the information and for the document panel um, setting the options I will navigate down to the word options and click on it this will open the word options dialog box and because contextual spelling is to do with the proofing of my document I would select the proofing option from here and go and check that the contextual spelling is checked here that is correct I'm clicking OK and move on to the next subtask in task 2 of my instructions document the next subtask is asking me to use the spelling and grammar checker and correct any spelling error for the word employees and here is how to use the spelling and grammar checker from the review tab in the spelling and grammar proofing just click the spelling and gram grammar button a dialog box will open with suggestions for the word employees you will need to accept the suggested word change and it moves on to the word principles and you accept the new suggestion once the spell check is complete click OK and this is the end of your second task in your instructions once you finish all the work for the greater project then you will need to save your document close it and go back into my IT lab and upload the completed file so this is the last of the steps in the instruction file step number 12 so let's save it I like to save it with a different name save as so I'm going to add my last name at the end of the name of the file and click save and I can close the file and go back into my IT lab one more time in the course materials tab in your course folder navigate to the chapter that you are working with to the chapter activities and one more time open the greater project file this time in, instead of downloading you will be uploading the file however I would like to show you the two buttons here that are very important finish and submit for grading the top one that shows you how important they are because 
if you upload the completed file and you just close this window, the submission will not be in fact submitted. So let's do it together. Upload the completed file. I will browse to my completed file. I'm going to choose this one with a, my last name at the end of it. Open it and click the upload button. It will ask you to wait a while while the file is uploaded. Once it is uploaded, a confirmation will come at the top of your window. And now it's the time to click the button, finish and submit for grading. Once that is done, you can click return to course either from here or from here. And your grader project will be updated. And now you can see here that for this submission, I got 98 points out of 100. If this does not update automatically, all you have to do is to refresh the page from your browser. So reload content page. And navigate back to your greater project. Activities. And here it is again. Now, let's say that I am interested to increase my um, score here. And I'm not content with the 98% that I got. All I have to do is to hover over the right hand side of my greater project link. Click on it and click view submissions. A new window will open. Then I have to highlight this particular submission. And here I can look and see where I lost some points. So here I have 14 out of 14, 8 out of 8 and so on. So it seems that I lost a point at step number and I can ask for a summary report or for marked up report and then I can go and correct this submission and resubmit it one more time. So this is my summary report and if I click on this red cross it will explain to me exactly what I did not do or I did wrongly. The document title was not set to eth ethics and society. That indicates to me that I probably had a spelling mistake or I added an extra space or something like that. I can go correct it, save it, close it and resubmit it one more time. So this is how to submit your greater project and how to check for any errors and resubmit your greater project one more time. So good luck in your work and I'll be looking forward to seeing your grades, your good grades.